TP-Link Archer Wi-Fi routers have a flaw that's been exploited by the Mirari malware. The Mirai malware botnet is actively exploiting a TP-Link Archer A21, so that's the AX1800 Wi-Fi router, a vulnerability that's been tracked as CVE2023-1389 to incorporate devices into DDoS swarms. Researchers first abused the flaw during the Pawn to Own Toronto hacking event in December 2022, where two separate hacking teams breached the device using different pathways, LAN and WAN interface access. The flaw was disclosed to TP-Link in January 2023, with TP-Link releasing a fix last month in a new firmware update. The exploitation attempts in the wild was detected by the Zero Day Initiative starting last week, initially focusing on Eastern Europe and spreading worldwide. The CVE-2023-1389 vulnerability is a high severity, unauthenticated command injection flaw in the local API of the web management interface of the TP-Link Archer AX21 router. The source of the problem is the lack of input sanitization in the local API that manages the router's language settings, which does not validate or filter what it receives. This allows remote attackers to inject commands that should be executed on the device. Hackers can exploit the flaw by sending a specially crafted request to the router that contains a command payload as part of the country parameter, followed by a second request that triggers the execution of the command. The first signs of in-the-world exploitation became evident on April 11, 2023, and the malicious activity is now detected globally. ZDI reports that a new version of the Miari malware botnet now exploits the vulnerability to gain access to the device. It then downloads the appropriate binary payload for the router's architecture to recruit the device into its botnet. A particular version of Miari is focused on launching DDoS attacks and its features indicate that it focuses primarily on game servers. Another interesting aspect of this new malware version is that it can mimic legitimate network traffic, making it harder for DDoS mitigation solutions to distinguish between malicious or legitimate traffic to reject the garbage traffic effectively. TP-Link first attempted to address the problem on the February 24th, 2023, but the fix was incomplete and did not prevent exploitation. Finally, the network equipment maker published a firmware update that addresses the risk of CVE-2023-1389 on March the 14th, 2023, with version 1.14 build 2023-0219. Owners of the Archer, AX21, AX1800 dual-band Wi-Fi 6 routers can download the latest firmware update for the device from this webpage. We'll put the link in the description. Signs of an infected TP-Link router include device overheating, insect disconnections, inexplicable changes on the device's network settings, and a resetting of the admin user passwords. And my suggestion would be is if you own one of these routers, you head over to the website and download a firmware upgrade straight away to make sure that your system is not part of the next massive DDoS attack.